So I'm Amy Hoops, and I'm from Wente Vineyards, and I'm so excited to be here today. My passion in wine started with the very first sip. While I wasn't as young as Eric Asimov writing uh, reviews in high school, I did get a taste of it as I graduated college. And for 15 years, I've been fortunate enough to work in the industry and had the privilege to bring a lot of new brands into the market. It's been really exciting to launch new brands, and for the past 18 months, I have been uh, working on a new project that we're going to share with you today. I see, but I don't know. <laughs> um, so, we're really um, very pleased and excited to be able to give you a sneak peek of this wine today. A lot of excitement is building, and it's really interesting to know that it all started with one question. What happens when the oldest continuously operated family-owned winery in America teams up with? The number one thing. Food. I'm Susan Stockton, I'm from Food Network Kitchens, I head up our team there. And my, I came to food very young age. My entire family cooked in Sesame. My mother thought she was Julia Child in the 50s and made us all like four course meals, which is no wonder that I wanted the Food Network. Um, Amy and I want to introduce you to Entwine. We're inspired by a shared passion for food and wine. Food Network and Wente Vineyards work side by side to craft a wine portfolio that is well sipped alone or um, delicious paired with food. So we're really excited that it's time to taste. You have bottles on your table, but you don't need to rush. You definitely don't have to eat and drink as fast as you need to give this presentation. You have the full hour to enjoy it. We really want you to be able to taste all the wines, sip, savor, and enjoy. Jump in and taste the Pinot Grigio first, okay? We're giving you like a really nice little comfort food, cheesy bite with kimchi inside. So you're gonna get like a little salty, sharp flavor with that uh, cheese sandwich. It goes lovely with the Pinot Grigio, which pairs a great with the Pinot Grigio. So the Pinot Grigio, what I love about it is its approachability. It is as approachable as all the wines in the portfolio and as approachable as our partners at the Food Network. Okay, I'm hoping you all know what Food Network is. We are, if you've seen our shows, you've read the magazine, you have like looked for recipes on our website, and you can mention our wine and food festivals. Um, we have a lot of fun with Food Network. And our mission has to date over the last 16 years Food Network has been connecting our viewers to the power and joy of food. But now, our mission has changed a little bit. We're going to introduce these same fans to great terrific wines. Um, I love my job. I test my head Food Network kitchens. It's 30 culinary professionals, chefs, who are right now developing or pairing our top 1,000 recipes to wines. Um, and this is for our viewers. It's our latest charge, and we want to have our million viewers actually a couple with wine. So we moved to the Chardonnay, but again, you don't need to rush. But wanted to let you know, if you're not already familiar, Wente Vineyards has a long history and passion with Chardonnay. We were the first variety we labeled Chardonnay in 1936, and now about 80% of all Chardonnay grown in California is grown on the Wente clone. Our pairing for our Chardonnay is a little bit of a sub comfort food. So you may know a little about Wente Vineyards. Our fifth generation winemaker, Carl Wente, as Elle mentioned, he practices yoga and wine as well. But he's really excited because he is the forefront now of the business that's family owned, all estate grown on 3,000 acres of sustainably farmed vineyards. So why did the Food Network choose Wente Vineyards? For our great wine? And because we make great wine. Thank you. And, <laughs> and, and for our passion for food and wine. Okay, next up is our Merlot. I confess I'm not a big Merlot fan until I met Entwine. I really love this wine. That's me. Um, we're pairing it with another Southern Comfort food, which is a biscuit, a little, a little Virginia ham, and a touch of apricot jam on top. Enjoy. And if you're following the slides that are flying by behind me, we're on a food-friendly concept. I kind of giggled. Shouldn't all wines be? Well, we really took this to heart. With Entwine, we worked in full partnership with the Kitchens and Susan's team. We brought them to California, really immersed them in a wine 101, and we tasted countless barrels, putting in multiple together multiple blends, and then tasted all along with food. And what you're tasting today is the culmination of winemaker and chef in a bottle. With the twine wines, we want to celebrate that magical relationship between wine and food. This is our shared passion. And I'm super excited to have Food Network on my side. <laughs> our next tasting is a Cab Sauvignon. Um, with this, we have paired an off-the-shelf product, which is a great cheese stick, and it's got a little bit of Asiago and cheddar cheese on it, which stands up really nice with the Cabernet, just as well as a cheddar cheeseburger or a blue cheeseburger or a backyard barbecue. It's all about making it easy. So if it's off the shelf or off the grill, we want to do what our corks say, love your food and love your wine. We want to educate and build excitement about wine. And honestly, I think our viewers are going to be looking to your blogs to get a little drill into this information more. So please respond. And like you, it's our mission to empower new consumers to be more confident about wine and to enjoy it more often. 
And we think with the help of influencers like yourself reaching out to your readership that we together can educate, empower, and ignite more people to enjoy wine more often. So remember, this was a sneak peek. These wines don't hit the market till next month. Please do go check us out on the website, entwinewines.com. And again, it's been our pleasure to be here, to be, you know, sliding through these slides and sponsoring this session for you.